Yeah. Well, look at this. Here we are. Yeah, already running, ready to go. Service lights on because it's just coming up to its service. This little baby's done uh, almost a thousand miles. Round clock, not a round clock. Like the RR. You know what it is? Yeah, it's the RS. Yeah, marvellous. Gonna give this a go with its higher bars. See how that goes. Uh, mirrors, far end. You know my feelings on that. Yeah. God knows how I'll get those set up. Don't even know where to begin with them. But we'll see when we get going. Oh, this is keen. Quick shift up and down again, I guess. Yeah, marvellous. Don't even need the clutch. Mirrors, bar, even though the bar end, yeah, marvellous. You can see out of them, perfect. But, a bit quicker, no fairing. Makes me feel odd, all the lights been down there. Um, I guess I'll get used to it. Yeah, marvellous. Don't know if the camera will pick it up, probably won't. <laughs> Might be just as well. So, 1200 cc's, like a billion horsepower. I'd, I'm only kidding, of course. About 140 brake horsepower, I think. Not sure. Top speed about 170, I think. I'm just guessing. Handling, sweet as a nut. Now, I'm not, this doesn't have all the dial down stuff that the RR has. Um, but I've got it in road mode at the moment, not sport, just road. It's a nice hot sunny day, um, uh, so we'll be fine, yeah, marvellous, eh? Yeah, what a lucky boy. Um, similar sort of sound, of course, to the RR. You know how I feel about the RR, so if I mention the RR a lot, <laughs> you know, I can't help it. Um, but I'm quite keen to see how this goes uh, without the fairing. Um, down the dual carriageway, yeah, but it's going to be interesting, isn't it? I will do a little walk around. Uh, this is silver with like a day glow stripe on it, yeah, I don't know. Um, not retro at all, no, it's not even pretending to be retro. I haven't even bothered with a little round headlamp, it's got two round headlamps, probably to make up for not having two round clocks. I don't know. What do you think? Um, makes it look like some sort of creature coming towards you. Um, but if you see this coming in your rear view mirror of your car, it's going to be passing you by the time you realise. <laughs> yeah. Fun dabby dozy. Um, but yeah, the same round clock. Slightly smaller, I think. Oh, it seems smaller, is it just because it's so far away? Could be. So, the immediate thoughts are, it's comfy, handles well, just slips straight into it. Um, and I guess it's like the big older brother to the Trident 660, yeah. Um, and it is quite a hike in price, but it's also from my feeling so far, quite a hiking bike, yeah, it, it does have quite a splendiferous feel about it, um, but we'll go for a little ride round and we'll uh, stop, we will do the Suffolk Road, I'm not holding out uh, much hope of it getting a splendiferous down there, because um, I've done nothing with the suspension, it's just as it comes. Yeah, it is adjustable, I know that much. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what occurs. Ah, oh, and look at this road now, oh. Brakes, red up, same, same as uh, the RR. Perfect. Gearbox a doddle there.
so we'll see what it's like. It's quite sharp, tips in well. And we're up to the legal limit at the blink of an eye. Uh, I'll pop it into six just to drop the revs a little bit. I've got a car right up my jack seat. I don't know how much you can hear for the wind, so it might, the wind might be deafening, but it doesn't feel too bad, is what I'm saying. I think the clock probably does deflect a little bit, I can feel just a little bit somewhere about there, just blowing. But other than that, it's all clean air. And I don't know if you recall, on the Triumph Trident 660, the economy bike, you get a nice uh, you get a nice clean uh, square metal uh, brake reservoir. Uh, but uh, if you if you, <laughs> if you spend another eight thousand pounds, you get a plastic round see-through one. <laughs> Marvelous, isn't it? That's a bit odd. Um, maybe these are more expensive to make, or maybe they do a better job. I don't know. Well, it just seems a bit odd to me. Maybe people like them like that. I don't know. Right, so we're going to the first of the bumpy roads. Yeah. And we'll see. We've got a bus in front. So we're going to have to have some diesel fumes first. Just to numb us a little bit, I reckon. So just here, 37 miles an hour, it's tickling along in fourth, it's very easy, very manageable, you know, when you think of the beast of the bike that it is, um, you know, I guess it's like, um, you know, a giant muscle heavyweight boxer who being a gentle lover, I don't know, maybe it's like, you know, uh, that's, that's what it's like. Um, that's certainly what the RR is, a very smooth operator, yeah. Just waiting for this bus to get to the uh, dual carriageway and then we'll see. So, so he's staying in that lane, yeah, marvellous. Fairly bouncy, but not too bad. So the quick shifter is <laughs> marvellous on these triumphs, on all of them. It really is. Yeah, it's so slick and smooth. It doesn't miss a thing. Um, it is a bit hard on the on the bouncing, um, but not too bad. Manageable is what I'd say. The engine sounds just marvellous. going to be interesting to see on the Suffolk Road what's it, what's it like um, and we're, I'm not going to go down to the boatyard today because I'm a bit pushed for time to be honest yeah marvellous 
Um, so we'll do the walk round back at the shop. Yeah. But I tell you what, it's impressing me so far. I mean, this road is is pretty terrible, and it seems to be riding it really well. Yeah. It's not too hard a work. I would say it's doing as good a job as the RR did, uh, certainly. Um, but it is quite... God, <laughs> it is a bit more jarring, but it's doing a good job. It doesn't interfere with the way it goes. It does sound lovely, doesn't it? So we'll do the uh, census test as we go past the pub. Yeah, so taste. I'm not tasting it, you know that. Um, to look at, it's not everybody's cup of tea, it's a modern bike. It's one of those prancing crickets or something, isn't it? A uh, bug-eyed type of thing. Um, Gosh, you don't know yet because they haven't done the walk around. <laughs> Marvellous. Um, so, yeah, to, to look at, I, it's, it's, it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not a bad looking bike, but I think it'd struggle in my eyes to get to Marvellous. Yeah, and you think all they've done to the RR is put a fairing on it and transformed it. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Um, there's the round headlamp as well, yeah. Um, and then, so that, that's where I'm sticking, I'm afraid, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I might push to Marvellous um, if I, someone came at me with a, with a big stick, yeah. Um, but, to touch and fail, it's, uh, it is marvellous, yeah, it's bloody marvellous in fact, um, but then the paintwork, yeah, it's quality, don't get me wrong, it's quality, but the colour, I mean, where do you go with that, it's just silver, it's like one of the most common colours of on vehicles, yeah, um, so, uh, the, the, to look at, to touch, oh, combined, I think, you know, well, let's say, let's say marvellous to look at, and let's say bloody marvellous um, to feel, because there are some interesting shapes about it, uh, and it does all feel quality, you know, don't get me wrong, it does feel quality, suspension's a bit hard, um, So, uh, sound is uh, bloody marvellous. So, uh, despite me not liking the look of it, it's heading, isn't it, at the moment, to bloody marvellous, which uh, is surprising, really. Um, I guess we get on to... Uh, how does it make me feel? Well, it's nice. It makes me feel naughty, that's for sure. Um, on these back lanes, I'm not so sure, to be honest. Um, it's quite a handful. Yeah, it is a beast. It doesn't feel as tame as they are. And they're princi principally the same bike. Um, on the big roads, um, 
it is beautiful it really is it's smooth as anything yeah The suspension's definitely firm, um, but it goes so well, and there's so much power there. But it still comes back to what we've said so many times: we're restricted. This is the reality. Cars everywhere, speed limits everywhere. Um, so this is, this would be. A fantastic track bike and a real mile cruncher but if I was going for a mile cruncher I think I'd go for the RR I don't know it um, it needs some debating I think I mean people have said to me that um, this is the comfortable version uh, uh, because the bars aren't quite so uh, low but I think I think the um, The RR is more comfortable to me because this is that stuck in between position. I think. I think you, you know, if you're prone, you get down and you're there. If you're sat upright, you're upright and you're there. If you're in between, um, there's a certain amount of your own strength you're having to use. Admittedly, out here on the A14, you've got the wind helping in so far. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm being picky here because, yeah, I'm on a very, very nice motorbike. And the only way to critique it is to push the boundaries, isn't it? This is a marvellous motorbike, but for me... Um, it's too unruly. I, I th thought it would be. It's just got a bit, you know, the slightest twitch on the throttle and it's off. Um, but also, slightest twitch on the throttle the wrong way and you're stopping. And then your weight's on, on your hands. I found the RR set up much better and much smoother. But also, you're already down on your hands to start with. Um, and therefore there's no weight down there you're already there if you know what I mean that sounds bonkers doesn't it but then again just about everything I say sounds bonkers so yeah every time I've come around this corner I've been right behind a, a vehicle normally when I get to that corner I'm not there's not a vehicle in sight but now because they've done the road, all the cars are queuing up to get round it, give it a go. Um, but yeah, this is a, a, a bloody marvellous motorcycle, yeah, that's where it is, bloody marvellous. Um, not what I thought I'd be saying about it, to be honest. I thought I'd get on it and, you know, hate it. Yeah, I'm a retro boy, I like the retro bikes. Um, but I knew, because I like the RR, it wasn't going to be far away. I mean, everything about it is quality, don't get me wrong. No centre stand, of course. No centre stand. Of course there's no centre stand. <laughs> it's bonkers, isn't it? But, um, as far as a motorbike goes, it is splendiferous. It's 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 not it's not for me the official grading is bloody marvelous um if i wanted this to go on track days it would probably be splendiferous or even fantabulous but i don't 
I want it as an all year motorcycle um, and all motorcycles will do all year some are better than others um, and uh, this I think it'd be fine for long blasts um, but I think for short journeys commuting backwards and forwards I don't think it's for I don't think it's the bike for me it's not, certainly not the bike of my quest um, that's for sure um, but it is a bloody marvelous motorcycle um, you know I I can't I can't really say more than that it's it doesn't have Mickey Mouse mirrors it's got bar end mirrors that that was disappointing to start with but of course goes with the bike with the territory doesn't it um, all the controls by the way while we're on it they're marvelous I know them all inside out they're the same as they are same as my tiger uh, and they're all logical some people don't like them they don't like the little joystick thing the taste of it's a doddle. If you can't figure that out, uh, you're, you're obviously not a kid of the 80s. Yeah. Well, you obviously weren't playing Space Invaders um, and Asteroids, were you, in the pub? No. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd have no trouble with these controls. That'd be fine. Um, keyless ignition. That's marvellous. Um, the way the clock lights up, it's all exciting. Um, and lovely colours. I do like the colours, the orange and the red. That's marvellous. I think you can probably select all different colours if you want. Um, the handling on it. Uh, you can't fault it on these smooth roads. Uh, on the bumpy roads, I found it quite a bit of a handful. But, yeah, and that's why it's just, it's down there at Bloody Marvellous. And it's not because of its looks, let me say that. Um, in fact, its looks are on a par with the uh, Honda CB1000. Yeah, the CB1000R. Don't know if you've seen my review on that. It looks are like that, it's that same sort of style, isn't it? In fact, the CB1000R might be more retro looking. Um, and therefore might rank higher um, but yeah marvellous bike um, and we'll do a little walk around now so there you go what do you think ladies and gentlemen it's not, it's not that bad is it it's uh, the, the the headlamps that uh, turned me off a little bit the rest of it and I think that's what's so important on the RR having that fairing and the round headlamp just make it but it's not that bad uh, but I'm sticking with marvellous uh, from the looks um, you know Brembo brakes um, <sighs> Olin forks uh, same on the rear um, yeah Oh, what do you think? Bug eyes. Is that bug eyes? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um, but this looks like it'd be a bugger to clean. Look at all the flies on there and it's all over the place. Yeah, that takes some cleaning. Um, no centre stand, I've said. Um, and this silver. It's quite bland, I think, when you think of some of the colours they do. Um, quick shifter. Out this world. On all of them. Yeah. Stinky little indicators, nice little tail light, same as uh, the RR. Um, but the clock needs a fairing around it, yeah. And that's what they struck gold with that one for me. Barring mirrors, not a fan of those, but you know, it goes with the bike, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, little bits of plastic here, I guess, just to tidy it up a bit it's not too bad not too shabby but I'm sticking with it I'm sticking with the marvellous yeah sound splendiferous 
uh, looks marvellous. We're going down the line, bloody marvellous. Triumph 1200 speed triple RS, uh, bloody marvellous, yeah. <laughs> 